We gotta talk about Black China, right? So we, uh, Angela White. I think a lot of people celebrated when she, you know, declared she was a Christian now. Uh, but again, just like with us, everybody, we gonna, gonna have to hear what you say from yeah. now on. Like, yeah. what, what, what you really about? So let's uh, let's see what uh, Black China is saying now. Prime example. I'm sitting here. Yes, I have, have a little thigh out, a little whatever top this is. You know what I mean? Just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean that I can't wear this. If I like to listen to a certain music, that doesn't make me less of a Christian. People need to understand that it's the relationship between me, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And that's who all I have to answer to. And that's that. Oh, and the long nails too. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what, do we, what do we think about what she just said? Is, is that true? And not just the clothes thing. She she basically saying I could do whatever I want as long as me. Well, I think what cool. comes with that is if she might feel like that now, the thing to see is what happens as she grows. Mm -hmm. Are you going? Are them thighs going to be out? <laughs> she going to keep them thighs out six months from now, a year from now? Because it's growth. It's a relationship. If she in a relationship. It's got to be growth in that. And that means the more you grow, the more you realize and the more you're shown things and the more you see, okay, maybe I shouldn't be like this. So you think this is a maturity thing? It's, I think That's it's exactly a maturity thing. I, 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 I would say this. I think the thing is also, too, when I hear people talk like that, and I, I, I truly believe she is is a Christian, and I think it is an immature thing, but I do think it's a word thing, too. Are you in that word? Because yeah. if you're not in that word and yeah. it's not helping you, because I think people don't understand that that's our instruction manual yeah, on how yeah. to live this life. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So because you can get the word from your pastor, you can get the word from everybody else. But God is like, if you want to get closer and closer and closer to me, get in your Bible, read the Bible. Well, I have a question then. Um, how often are we reading just a straight up Bible? In your daily time, are you actually reading the Bible or are you reading people talk about the Bible? Exactly. I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading the Bible. Is, is that what everybody is doing? Nah. Or are you reading commentaries? No, I think, I think a lot of people are reading books. They look at, what's that one little devotional everybody, books. Books. everybody be reading? Well, uh, daily Bread. Daily Bread. Daily bread. And bread. And the other Prayer. Com. The little book. Yeah. Uh, Prayer.com. I just wonder if, if we're. Jesus uh, calling. I think. Uh, like that. I just wonder if a lot of us, including people like her, anybody, right? I just wonder if a lot of us are spending more time reading people's opinions about the Bible yeah. versus the actual Bible. Yeah. And like really like just letting it hit you straight instead yeah. of through somebody else. Yeah. Because right. I, I just wonder, it sounds like to me what's happening is there's a lot of people who are getting validated by somebody mm -hmm. like, oh, that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Because yeah. that person yeah. in their own flesh may be like, this is this is better than what she used to be. Yeah. So I'm not going to stress this part. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the Bible don't care nothing about what you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. going to tell you the whole truth, all yeah. of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I just wonder if a lot of it is people are getting discipled by people who are making like compromises, judgment calls on what they should stress and what they shouldn't stress. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're just reflecting their own... Per maybe they don't care about that yeah. in their own personal life. Yeah. Instead of just going straight to the I think people sword. are so impressed by somebody with a name that now all of a sudden I'm not going to tell you yeah just let them do I'm it I'm not going to tell you that because yes I think it's maturity and I think it's the yeah. more you read and the closer you get yeah. it's like okay you start realizing things okay now yeah. I know let me go ahead and X this out but I think over that is having somebody over you going you shouldn't do that like maybe that's not a good look Wise or this and yeah. that you know like I I had I've had artists in the past that I had to tell hey man maybe you shouldn't be showing up to these events smelling like loud mm -hmm. yeah. because you might not got to that point yet yeah but i'm just gonna tell you yeah you showing up to youth conferences yeah. smelling like weed <laughs> maybe you shouldn't do that yeah, that's real right. no, you that's just, real. but no nobody yeah. but see I, but i could be y'all know how many relationships i have i could be harming a relationship by doing that yeah but you mm -hmm. got okay. but listen yeah, yeah, i yeah. love you more than i love what you think about me? Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. stop doing. Well, that. I think that's discipleship. But, I, but yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's discipleship. discipleship. Yeah, and I think, and I think, what we have to understand is her discipleship yeah. to be like you said. Yeah. She, she, she. I remember um, the interview with her and Lecrae, and she talked about um, one of the bishops that she got to baptize mm -hmm. her, and I'm sure it's probably still in her life. But I think at the same time, what you just said is that it's like, well, she ain't stripping no more. She ain't on OnlyFans yeah. no more. So this is better. Get, this is better. Or they yeah. want, or they want to bring light to them. Yeah, yeah. they want yeah. to. Oh, I got this relationship with 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 Black China or uh, Angela. Oh, I can get 
hmm, what can I get from this? Yeah. yeah. So let me not. Let me. But that's yeah, why I say you scared to tell somebody you shouldn't have your thighs out. Yeah. Well, because worry. then it seems so old school, right? Yeah. But it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I could be watching that interview with her thighs out going, dang, she look good. Now all of a sudden I'm. Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's, it reminds me of, you remember when the Israelites came out of Egypt, but they still were like, man, at least in Egypt we had fish. At least in Egypt we had it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like they were out of Egypt, but Egypt <laughs> wasn't out of them yet. Right. Yeah. And so when I look at her, I think it's it's her. For the longest time, she was a sex symbol. Her body mm -hmm. is what made her money, showing mm -hmm. herself off. So it's like she came to Christ, and I think now it's, it's growth and maturity going to show her like you're yeah. no longer the person where your value was based upon how you looked, you looked. and what you wore. Mm -hmm. Your value now is because you're now in Christ. And I think it takes that time. It's like for me when I first came to Christ, I was still smoking weed. I was still fornicating. I was still kind of, I was 100 miles per hour in the streets. And so when I came to Christ, now I was doing those things and I was getting convicted. You yes. know what I'm saying? Before I was I'm doing saying. it without a conviction. Yeah. I was getting convicted. So I began to say, no, nah, I can't no longer do this. And I began through help and accountability and fellowship to work those things out of my life. So when I hear her, I just see somebody who's still kind of like held on to an identity mm -hmm. of who she used to be. And when she understands she no longer has to do those things, that's not who she is, she'll understand. That, so man, should I she sit do down? So we like, you get somebody that's like a celebrity or an influencer that comes that way, um, should it should that person that's sit down for a while and get out of the light? See, that's mm -hmm. the unfortunate part. Like you were saying before, anytime we see somebody with a celebrity, uh, mm -hmm. somebody so who's a celebrity come to church, we always want to put them on the forefront because to yeah. make our ministry look good. Like we're helping them, yeah. we're helping them. But what you're doing is you're setting these folks up for failure because now mm -hmm. their whole walk is in the public eye. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're setting them up for scrutiny. Oh, they're supposed to be a, a Christian. Why she still wearing that? Yeah. Now they get discouraged. Now they're feeling judged. Now they're saying the church ain't got no love in it. But the fact of the matter is you were exposed too early. You shouldn't be on a platform. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And that's why I think it, it just brings me back to the whole it's hard for a rich man to enter yeah. the kingdom of heaven. It's not just yeah. because that person is is you know just terrible it's because of how other people react to them yeah, yeah. what are they gonna tell somebody who's rich and famous yeah especially like you said they want some of it for themselves yeah. so you're yeah. not gonna tell them the full truth r kelly said the pastor that that he was trying to be up under kept asking telling them the doorknobs need changing in the church yeah. and not telling them how to just walk he was just like hey man we got a building fun over yeah. here yeah. you should be you should be tithing you should be <laughs> the difference is so like the church we were attending we used to have young ladies come in and they used to wear like short dresses and stuff like that and when they came in like some of the older ladies bit their head off just like don't you wear that kind of stuff girl they were like you can't do that you know what i'm saying because now they're looking like i just yeah. came through the door what you expect yeah. me, to, me to be shirley caesar today yeah, you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying day one you know right. what i'm saying so we had some women pulling to the side like look you know you're a beautiful young lady, yeah. but I'm just going to tell you, you know what I'm saying, when you come into these kind of places, it's a lot of different things. It's a lot of folks, and it's a hospital in here, so a lot of folks haven't matured in certain areas. So you may have certain yeah. men who may be looking at you in a way you probably don't necessarily want to be looked at or shouldn't want to be looked at. You're going to have some women who are mm. more traditional who That's say, good. hey, this young lady, they don't care about culture and all this kind of stuff. So for you to be able to come in here and get the experience with God that you're really looking for, this is the first lesson I'm going to teach you. All things are lawful, but not all things are yeah. beneficial. It's not a sin that you're necessarily wearing that, yeah. but you don't want to cause anybody else to stumble, and you don't want to make this harder for yourself than it yeah. has to be. And I'm telling you this because I love you. That, yeah. shows, that shows we, we lost the authority. There used to be a you know generations above you that you respected to where if they said to do something, you would, you would do it out of reverence for mm -hmm. them because you trusted that they were trying mm -hmm. to be reverent mm -hmm. to God. Yeah, and I right. think we've lost that whole authority yeah. thing. Yeah. Nobody wants nobody to tell them Not nothing. Yeah. We in the Y generation. Don't do yeah. that. Why? Yeah. Right. See, my mom always told me, sit down. I was like, what? Because I said so. And that was enough. Because <laughs> I knew was enough. after that, yeah. what I said so, it was Switch a rap. But now out. it's like, why are you saying it? <laughs> I know, like, go on uh, Google. Mm -hmm. I know at, um, I just used this brother as an example because I still see him like, Shining the shining that light is like Montel Jordan, right? When he mm -hmm. when he first when him and his wife first came to uh what that victory, um when they when they first gave their life life over and they were at church, he didn't just get on the stage, do do like my um he said he he they volunteered in the children's ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. For like years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before they even that. let him touch a stage yes, yeah. and lead worship. Mm -hmm. And then you know what I'm saying? By the time he was able to be on that stage, lead worship for years, be the worship pastor, then go back out into the into doing, 
you know, halftime shows mm-hmm. and festivals. Now he out there ministering to people in those few minutes that yeah. he has. Yeah. Right? Because the walk was Right. And now he has his own church. Sure. Yeah. So now it's like the walk is, okay, I got the celebrity. Mm-hmm. I could throw him on sta- stage right away to lead worship, and we're going to have a thousand more people right. at this church because of that. Now, nah, bro, you got to go serve <laughs> in the baby ministry. Yep. And we're going to walk this thing out with yeah. you. And so, real quick, yeah. I think I think there's some confusion over um, grace. I think a lot, of, uh, a lot of the people I've been hearing us do on the show, they come with this attitude of, as long as I'm good with God, it's 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 all it's all good. This is my personal yeah, yeah. relationship. They're using some of the same language that we yeah. we use, but I think there's a confusion over like, yes, you're saved by grace through faith, right? But if your actions don't line up with the Bible, mm. are you really in a relationship with God, right? Like so so it's it's mm-hmm. the idea. I think they're in, they're digesting part of the message is yes it's not by your works that gets you saved it's only faith in jesus and what he did for you Mm -hmm. however somebody who really believes that would never want to hurt him or disobey him yeah Yeah. so there should be a a corresponding obedience that comes with your the grace that you Mm -hmm. received i think people miss that second half of it it's like just because you got the grace doesn't mean you get to go on and do whatever you want it's Thank you, Jesus. I would never want to hurt you again. Right. You know, yeah. that's that's the yeah. attitude. Yeah, and yeah, and I, and I say this real quick. I think that's the thing that's that we good. are. That's the thing that the culture is missing out on. Mm-hmm. And when we say about the yeah. Bible, because you 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 can go down downtown Atlanta, wherever, and ask people are they a Christian, they say, Yeah, but like, you read the Bible? No, I don't read the Bible. Like it's like you don't understand that once you read the word, the word starts to change you. And yeah. you allow it to change you, it yeah. changes your life. It yeah. changes your behavior and stuff like that. So I think that's what I was saying. I pray that she's reading the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And then real quick, I'll say this also to um, to, to the fellas out there is like, we can't always blame the women too. We got to mm. control our self control. We got to have yeah. self control too. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Stop we're, looking at them thighs. I, yeah. we, <laughs> I, I would venture to say that we're probably more responsible. We are, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I think we're more responsible. We, we have to hold ourselves accountable. I think yeah. there's no yeah. excuse. Women yeah. are, certain women are wearing these outfits because they know they're going to get our attention. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we mm. set the tone. It's like, you know what? That's not going to be, that's not going to cut it. That's right. not really what I'm into. Right. Now it's right. like, okay, why? why you know, yeah. some folks like to do it because they think yeah. they look good, but let's be real. Like, you want attention. You, want attention. you know what yeah. I'm saying? You want the guy that you think yeah. you, you're you attracted to to see you and be like, oh, man, yeah. look, she yeah. got it. You so, and part of it is it's getting to the point where that's the only clothes available in the store. We need to yeah. talk about that, too. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> but, but, culture, um, man. Yeah. 